Hey guys, this is Jake and today I'm going to show you how I made this tool rest and how I made this tool rest base. So this is part two of a three part series I'm doing on this lathe. Part one was me retrofitting a variable speed DC motor in this machine from a treadmill. And so if you want to take a look at that, the link is right up there on that side. So take a look. Uh, turned out great. Part two though is me building this tool rest and a tool rest base. This machine had absolutely no tool rest or base in it with it at all when I got it from my grandfather. Um, who knows where it went? I can't find it and I can't afford one off of eBay because they're like $130. Not gonna do it. So I uh, decided to build my own. So let me show you what I did. So I think I'm going to have a change in plans. Um, I'm going to still put a hole right about here, but originally I was going to put a piece of flat stock on this side and drill two holes and screw two bolts in it and then thread a hole here to capture the bolt to have something for it to push on to hold my shaft going down this way. but. I think to make it less complicated, 
Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm still going to put my hole obviously here, but I'm going to go and cut with the bandsaw. Just do a small cut right through here. And I'm also going to drill a hole horizontally right through this section. So it's going to act like a clamp and that way I can just clamp it on the side of the uh, tool rest. I think that's going to look better and I think I'm going to like it a little bit better too because all I have to do is just adjust this nut on the side a little easier to deal with that rather than having this piece of metal on the front because um, that way I'm using the whole piece of wood to capture this piece of stock instead of just that that bolt pushing on this and pushing it into this so I'm going to go with that I'm going to change my design a little bit and uh, we'll see how that works well here's what I've got this is this the space I need here I need at least a quarter inch maybe three-eighths of an inch between the end here and where my bar goes down but I'm not gonna have enough room where this bolt goes through so uh, I'm gonna have to cut another piece just cut this out again and I'm going to leave this a little bit wider. This is about an inch and a half. So I'm going to go probably two and a half inches because I really want this to act more like a clamp and that's going to give me a little bit more space and I can always cut off a little more if it's too long. That won't be a problem. But this is a little bit longer. I got about another half an inch longer than this so that'll give me kind of the space I need I think and we'll go from there. Hey everybody, I'm really excited about how this turned out. It's working great. I was a little concerned in the beginning. Uh, would this tool base actually be able to hold the rest and hold it firm? Would I get any vibration in the tool rest and how would it work out? But it's worked out really well so far. I've turned a few pens on here and I have attempted to turn a bowl and that didn't work out so well. So those of you out there with a little bit more experience than myself, if you can put some comments down below and give me some guidance, I'd love to hear from you. I'd also love to hear from you in the comments down below what you think of this. I'd love to hear what you would do to modify this and change it to make it even better. What are some of your ideas and comments? And I'm sure some of you, or at least one of you out there is going, hey dude, 
why don't you actually just buy a tool rest and a tool rest base and call it done? Well, I thought about it, but I like going through the kind of the creative process and seeing what I can make on my own and see if that works out first. And this is working really well. So I'm really happy with it. Eventually I may buy another lathe one day, but this is going to work out for me for now. So if you haven't seen video one, make sure you check out the first video. I went and put in a DC motor that's variable speed out of a treadmill. So check that out. You can get the link right up here to that. And I'm going to put, be putting out a third video on this, just doing the rest of the refurbishing on this, cleaning off the bed and changing out the tailstock and cleaning that up and probably changing out these bearings on this side. So make sure you stay tuned for number three coming up soon. So if this is your first time on my channel, I'd love for you to subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my other videos that will be coming out in the future. And this is Jake of All Trades saying we'll see you next time.